Hey guys, what's up? Ian here and this is my first impression, quick unboxing and graph measurements of this Muse Hi-Fi X Hi-B Metaverse ME1. This is a 1DD plus 1BA driver IEM and is currently retailing for 199 US dollars at the time of filming this video. Unaffiliated links are in the description below. Now, before I begin, I'd like to thank Angel Ears for sending this to me and making this video possible. I appreciate this very much. But guys, rest assured that whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. This video is not scripted and Angel Ears will be watching this video together with you guys. So as usual, I'll open this up. I'll go through the specifications, the accessories. I'll then measure this with my measuring rig and I'll listen to this for the very first time and I'll let you guys know my sound impression of it while listening to it. And please note that this is not my full review. Uh, after this video, I will listen to this for a longer period of time and then I will come up with another video at a later date. Also, this video will be timestamped. So for those of you who wish to skip around, please feel free to do so. Okay, so let's begin by removing this plastic. I've got my trusty knife here. Okay, right, so Metaverse ME1 and you've got a very nice picture of the IEM here. I don't know what this is up here and it's a collaboration between Muse Hi-Fi and hi -B. Unique sound compensation technology with nose. Okay, so the BA is nose, right? At the side here, you have the specification. So let's quickly go through it. So the brand is Muse Hi-Fi and hi -B, right? Uh, model is ME1. The driver module is 10 millimeter DLC, right? So this is DLC diaphragm plus Knowles 33518. So this is a very well known uh, balance armature, okay? Sensitivity is 108. The frequency response is 10 to 40,000 hertz. Impedance is 32 ohms. And you can have 2.5, 3.5, and 4.4. And that's about it side there's nothing at the back here you have all the address and uh, mm, yeah whatever right up okay so let's uh, open I'll take out from the sleeve pretty easy and then there's an arrow here so I should open from here and nice let's take this out okay uh, so let's remove the foam first so let's put the very nice i am let's put it one side first and then we got the rest of the stuff inside here lots of case and then we can take the box out of the camera and you've got paperwork paperwork with a bunch of stuff and they even show you how to change the headphone plugs okay so that's for the user guide and then you got ear tips and you've got cable and all that stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at the case itself. So this is the carrying case. Feels very good and grippy to the to the hands, okay? Um, Moondrop does have this kind of case as well. Okay, it's actually a quite a familiar case. It's just that the, uh, the texture is, is different. So this one, the texture is more grippy. It's got more raised uh, surface and it feels different lah. okay is it leather let me take a smell it smells pretty good but um <laughs> i don't think it's real leather lah. okay it's synthetic leather okay you got the uh, embossing of the muse hi-fi logo in front and then it's felt on the inside okay but it smells good okay and it's hard case okay so that's for the case itself let's take a look maybe at the ear tips first okay since we are having the case here okay so this one doesn't say anything but uh, i guess uh, that two different types maybe three okay so there are three types of ear tips now let's take them out okay and then this one all right so we have three types of ear tips okay uh this is the narrow bore this one right here and the it's pretty okay it's quite sturdy and the flange is pretty good stiff okay and then you have the wider ball one and you i think is uh I, I think it's thinner right the flange is a little bit more softer but the inner ball is a bit more stiffer okay and then you have your double flange okay so this is more for a deeper insertion if you so want to 
okay and uh, more immersive um, and well I guess you get more seal from this okay so double flange the flange on the top is a little bit softer well it's about the same now. okay yeah sorry it's about the same okay so three different types of ear tips okay and now let's talk about the cable now so this cable has got interchangeable uh, headphone jacks okay so um, this is how it looks like and then you have your extra um, connectors okay this is the 2.5 headphone jack okay so in order to change this all you need to do is unplug this okay and then you've got the uh, corresponding notches uh, right here okay once you get it lined up uh, just plug it in and that's it okay and then the cable is a four core cable right is a uh, link braided pretty good and that's the cable itself is pretty soft okay it's pretty soft and it's actually a bit soft too soft for me but it's okay it doesn't tangle with itself as you can see right it's all tangled up now but i can untangle it very easily except for the hooks of course and then uh yeah it's a pretty good well-built cable um the y splitter is it's got a metal sleeve here with the plastic sticking out and then there's a chin slider chin slider is a little bit loose okay you can see the gap is pretty big okay and then you have your ear hooks okay ear hooks are very soft very soft okay and uh, this is a two pin connector okay so that's for the cable now let's take a look at the im themselves and this is a pretty unique design okay uh, from what i see now um on the face plate you can see gold trims and this whole thing is uh, aluminum and you can see something unique here which is the the gills all right so this is a gill design and these are actual uh if you look carefully they are actual actual vents okay so this will actually uh, release pressure uh, as you insert the IEM into your ear okay so very good and also you know it gives more air um, more transparency you know and oh wow look at look at look at the uh, internal side of the, uh, the the inner shell this this part here is this is the first time I'm seeing this that the the actual sides of the uh, earphones is like indented in okay it's not really flat so this is actually a very ergonomic design if you look at it it's it's like the shape of uh, someone's inner ear uh not mine definitely okay uh and this is like some impression of someone's ear i, I guess you know but hmm, i hope it fits mine but yeah there's a fin here okay this fin here and there are two vents one vent here one vent here and this is the nozzle okay and one more vent on the top Okay, so it's a very nice design. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see um, the driver inside and the balance armature. But by the way, the balance armature is his nose. Okay, so yeah, just make double checking. Okay, so yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out my measuring rig and then um, let's see how they graph. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And as you can see, I brought up my measuring rig and I've got the Muse Hi-Fi High B ME1 right here with my foam tips okay so i've already calibrated my measuring rig and all that so that you guys don't have to watch through all that so let's go straight into the measuring so i'm going to put in the right side okay which is uh no left side sorry so left side will be this one okay and then let's go to the computer all right so first let's give it a name Right. Check the levels first. 89 dB. Okay. All right. So let's see how the left side graphs. Okay, let me just reset my mm, 
Hmm. Okay. Right, so that's the left side. Now let's take it out from the coupler and let's put the right side and see how this side graphs. Okay. Alright, so now the right side's inside. So let's uh, go back to the computer, check the levels first. 89 dB. Alright, let's begin. Okay, so it looks like the uh, channel matching is pretty good. So let me just tidy up this graph and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, I've cleaned up my graph. So the dotted line that you see here is the Harman target. Okay, the highlighted one. And the this line here is the combined left and right um, of the ME1. Okay, so looking at this graph, right, is quite a basic IEM, a lot of mid base, the and also the mids are very forward, and there is um, yeah, it's quite forward as compared to the Harman target. Uh, the gain is quite Harmonish, uh, to peanut gain, but once it reaches up to the upper mids, it's uh quite upper mids and presence it's quite um energetic okay a lot of energy on the up treble okay the upper mids and the presence which is a treble and the 8k i'm not too sure if this is the peak but yeah it looks like it's got quite a lot of energy and air and um, yeah it's a lot here uh, at the brilliance area the roll off is quite natural okay so um, there's one more graph here which I measured and uh, and this is the neutralized graph so from this graph right I can actually identify if this is warm and looking at this is actually pretty warm obviously okay and uh, mids are not really this this graph is neutralized to Harman so as you can see this is um, pretty much more than Harman and of course the presence area uh, at the upper mids is above the zero line so it's well more than the Harman target the presence is also much more and also the brilliance as well so this entire area here and the um, mid base here is much more okay all right so what i'll do now is to um, take out my ipad and i'll listen to this for the very first time so be right back okay so i'm back and as you can see i brought up my ipad i've got my usual um, m15 dongle right here and then my um, kotori cable and oh one thing i forgot to change is the ear tips so let's change out the ear tips sorry about that and then I'll change out to my CP145, which is not going to take a long time. Bear with me. Okay, so there you go, CP145, and this is the ME1. Okay, so I'm going to put them in my ear and let's see how they fit. Actually, uh, they are pretty comfortable, but there's quite a bit of weight to it. I can feel the weight on my ears, but it's not an issue. Okay, so the ME1 is my ear, so let's uh, listen to, uh, as I think I mentioned in my previous video, I've changed up my song, so I'm getting a bit tired of that golden hour, so now I've changed it to this Imagine Dragons, okay, and the name of this song is Enemy, okay, if you watch uh, League of Legends, uh, yeah, you will come across this song, okay, so let's uh, reset the song, and let's listen to it, let's go. Whoa, let's reduce the volume a bit. Okay, so the bass is quite punchy. And the the lead singer, right, is wide to the sides. It's not in my face, but it's got that very pre strong presence. Okay, very strong presence, very energetic. Uh, lead singer sounds warm. But is the note weight a little bit on the lighter side? The sound stage is 
wide to the sides. The sound separation, I would say, is okay. It's got good layers. I, I, I think maybe just one flat plane layer. But it's like wide to the side like this. And there's some height to the, to the sound stage. Now I can hear that the treble is very distinct. The lead singer, when it comes to the lead singer and uh, the, the, the snares, and there's this hi-hat and of course the background electronic sound. They sound very separated, at the same time they sound very clear. And the bass has got good thump, good impact as well. And it's very coherent. I don't hear that they are missing or anything like that. The bass doesn't really bleed even though it's a V-shaped. But I guess, uh, you know, you can hear a bit of the bleeding, la, you know, when the lead singer is singing. And now you have rapping going on. Yeah, so the the vocals is a little bit recessed. Yeah, the rumble's good. Rumble's good. In this type, in this song, you have that dung, dung, and then, you know, it's got a good rumble. Good extension of the rumble as well. Yeah, very, very, very prominent highs. And, um, uh, I would say it's quite fatiguing. I would say it's not harsh. It's not harsh. Because the lead singer is actually not in your face. It's got good um, separation and good spacing. But it's got that brightness and that energy there is uh, quite fatiguing, I would say. And a good presence in the mix as well. Okay, so the song has stopped. 